Welcome to the Horror Basement, Tennessee Horror News Podcast. Coming to you live, Tennessee Horror News Studio. In the basement of my mom's trailer. It is. And as always, we got a local horror expert, the myth, the legend, the horror man, Jim Jams. What are we talking about today, Jim Jams? Talking about. We updated the website. The home page looks a lot better. Uh, Looking you, fresh. Yeah, fresh. You can see the updates to the site on the home page. It's not just all the sponsors in your face. Yeah, it's looking real fresh. It's like, uh, we're moving on up, guys. So fresh and so clean, clean. Out kids. Oh, anyways. Uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, you know, we're working on everything. You know, we're trying to get better. I mean, that's always trying to improve, right? Yeah, yeah, we got our new setup here too. Got yep. a mixing board, two mics. Wait, we're moving on up, guys. The moving studio is up. coming together. Moving on up, moving up. Oh wait, that ain't dynamite though, is it? No, <laughs> that's Jefferson's. <laughs> also today, we're gonna talk about the pumpkin hair reboot. Yeah, yeah, I read somewhere that uh, they're rebooting Pumpkinhead. Night and the. The director promises practical effects, which if Saw that's the case, executive producer, yeah, promises. So, I mean, come on, like, did people ask for this shit? Some people probably are, but I mean, but like, is it going to bring anything to it? You think, like, are they adding to the genre I'm of sure. Pumpkinhead? I'm sure they will. Will it benefit Pumpkinhead? Will it? You never know. I mean, Maybe, I'm hoping he can do something with it, but. As long as he keeps practical effects involved and not fucking CGI. Yeah, I, 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 I applaud him for that. Like, that's that's like a big deal. But the whole thing is, like, they're bre- rebooting all these fucking films. Reboot, reboot, reboot. But nothing's being added to it. Nothing, nothing is being added to it. Like, it, the fans don't ask for it, and it becomes shit. You know, it's like, oh, I want money. And we know what Saw did. First <laughs> one or two were great. Yeah, and then, then they, ten, ten times the tenth one fucking blowed. I mean, goddamn, fucking, how many fucking saws do you need to make? How many saws do they make? Yeah, they make a lot of saws, but how many fucking time are you cutting people up? I mean, good god! And but, then there's even talk of, I guess they got a new director for the Friday the Thirteenth. I don't know if it's a sequel to the remake or a, another reboot. Yeah, it looks like the. Uh, it's, I, I guess it's kind of like a reboot, but they're trying to bring back the history on why he comes to life all the time or how come he can keep coming back to life. Maybe it'll be okay. I mean, who knows? Yeah, that's what it looks like. I'm, I mean, the, the only reason why I, I, I really cared about the other one was because of, uh, what is it, Jared Padalecki yeah. was in it. So, I mean, you know, I'm a huge Supernatural fan. So that's the only reason why I, you know, even watched the damn thing. Yeah. In the 2009 reboot of it. I thought it was 2009. Or whatever it was, it'll probably. Uh, it, I think it'll be good, uh, cool to see, you know, the backstory of how he keeps coming live. So, if it's about that, then yeah, I can. I th- wasn't it though? Didn't he get struck by lightning? Isn't that why he comes out the light? He has the power of lightning or <laughs> <laughs> the gods. I'm not sure. It's uh, the same way with like rebooting Freddy. You know, yeah. when they rebooted it. Well, they fucked the reboot, so. I, I don't know. Like, how can you remake Freddy? Like the original, so good. How do you fucking remake Freddy? Like, what what does he become? They tried to and failed miserably. I mean, the reboot was. I, it, I watched it. It was only thing that it was okay. Only thing I saw. I mean, I think they like, brought the more story out, like where they burned oh, yeah. him up or whatever. Yeah, but you like, know, you but, saw the backstory of how it happened. Yeah, and which they could have done a better job. Why not just make it the backstory? Yeah, and they blatantly said, you know, he teased. They're not teased, but like the original Freddy, he just kind of beat around the bushes of what you know he was really doing with these kids or whatever. Oh, and well. The remake, oh no, nah, he just straight up said, you know, yeah. So that, that was. I mean, but it. I don't know. I, the reboots are, are rough. And honestly, it's trying to capture the dollar of what we loved in the past. Yeah. And that goes with everything. Like, you know, they remade Ghostbusters, and it was all about catching that dollar. And 
fucking any remake. It's just, well, I, don't, I don't know. I just bring up Ghostbusters because that's more recent. Well, and everybody one, knows Ghostbusters. Yeah, it's not a horror film, but, I mean, you know, it does have ghosts in it, so therefore, you know. Well, one remake that I really enjoyed was Evil Dead. I don't think I watched it. That was, because the original was kind of almost a horror comedy, wasn't it? I, dude, and, I remember that from when I was a kid. My uncles watched that shit, and I remember the chain. Like it was like I didn't watch it as an adult because I grew up, you know, with it and yeah. and seeing it, you know, and and passing. I guess you could say. I just remember him having the chainsaw on his arm, and I was like, "What the fuck is that? Like, <laughs> what the fuck?" You know, I'm not the horror expert, so more the amateur horror guy. So I watched the first, I think, first episode of. Ash versus Evil Dead. That's pretty fucking entertaining. But I was not about to uh, subscribe to Stars just to get one TV show. So I'll yeah. wait till maybe one day it'll come on Netflix. Yeah, it'll come on Hulu probably before Netflix. So I'm mad. I guess I just have to come over to Johnny's house. I don't have Hulu. Well, I sorry. guess I won't be watching it. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Can I use somebody's password? No. Yeah, <laughs> password please. <laughs> help him, help him out. Donate to our Patreon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, donate to our Patreon so we can uh, have more stuff to talk about. And just so, like, we're trying to do this on a weekly basis, but, of course, you know, we got full-time jobs, and we'd love to just do this. Yeah. And, I mean, that's the passion, and that's what we want to do, but, of course, everybody needs help. Oh, yeah, definitely. And it's, I only, I got it set for $10 a month, and, uh... You get a first off, you get a cup, and then when we get new stuff, we'll send you new stuff each month. Sounds awesome, guys. Yeah, it's like a Tennessee Horror News. What's that called? A gift box. box. Yeah, gift box. There you go. <laughs> Donate to our Patreon and get you a, a Tennessee Horror News gift box with a cup in it for right now. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so yeah, we're trying to get this going up and. uh like I said, we got the website going better and doing the podcast weekly, and it takes a lot of work, as everybody knows. What about Wachula? Yes, we got an update from Wachula. Apparently, um, Kane Hodder has been added to the cast, so My that definitely. Been busy. Yeah, he. I don't know how dude does it, but he has definitely been a busy man. So yeah, it's gonna probably. I don't know what he's gonna be doing in that. Well, they but in that PR thing, they said they are considered the real Expendables of horror. So, what do you think about that? The real Expendables of horror. I looked at the IMDb, and I don't understand how it would be the Expendables of horror because the only person I really saw was maybe the Bill, that Bill guy, and Kane Hodder. But and, I mean, I'm looking forward to the movie. Don't get me wrong, but like I want to see it. it. It is a different take on. A horror film, a witch that's a... What, is it a vampire? Yeah, yeah. Vampire. Yeah, okay, that's what I was thinking. Like, I got confused there, but... <clears throat> like, if everybody would listen to our, to our uh, interview with Harrison Smith on the one podcast with him about Death House, he took offense to being called The Expendables of Horror. Like, wow. literally took offense and called horror fans out. Like, he was no joke on that shit. He was pretty brutal. It was it was get your fucking shit straight or get the fuck out. Yeah. So I don't think I would want to be labeling. I don't know if they labeled it or someone else lab, uh, labeled with Chola this the real Expendables of Horror or whatever. That's true. I mean, I, we don't know for sure, but Harrison Smith fucking called people out and said, "Be smart, stop being fucking dumb, or fucking stop watching." Pretty much. Yeah. He didn't. It's not in those exact words, but that's what it felt like to me, and that's why everybody needs to go back and listen to oh. our podcast with Harrison Smith. Like it goes to show you what he wants out of horror fans, and what a lot of more people I think are trying to get out of them instead of these dumb fucking films that are remakes. You know, with with like uh, what was it, uh, Pumpkinhead? Yeah. If it's not going to add to the genre, don't fucking make it. Because if if all you're trying to do is get cash, you're you're ruining what it has become. Yep. 
And you're just adding on. You're just piling the shit on to these shitty ass remakes that have been fucking made for years. And I'm not not the the biggest horror fan. You know, I'm I'm more new to this genre, and, and Jim Jam is, and I've come on here with him, and you know, I, I'm new to this, so, and I want to I want to learn about horror, and and I still am, and you know, I'm watching this, and it's true though. I mean, I watched the older shit, you know, with Freddy and Jason, and he, the classic, you know, what everybody's supposed to supposedly just watch, you know, to be a horror fan, and of course, many other things. But if you're just fucking making a film to make money, and you're not adding to it, go somewhere. Yeah, just go ahead and put a stop on that shit. Yeah, I mean, we need other things. And Come that's why with... indie horror right now, indie horror is where it's at. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because hell, you saw what happened with uh, the short film, in- indie short film of Lights Out. It got turned into a terrible feature but it got turned into a feature i still haven't watched that one yet i haven't i mean i'm i plan on it but that's one thing i plan on but from all the reviews it's like why go to the theater and watch it it ain't it's, you might as well just wait till it comes out on dvd or where you could stream like it everybody's whatever. saying it's not as scary as you think it would be oh no no that's the but damn it looks scary that i guess but if they show all they, the, the all trailers the best parts sorry spoiler word if whatever the best parts was in the commercial or the the trailer. trailer. See, and that's why the... But, I mean, honestly, that's how a lot of horror films are made with short films. They're still the idea. Some, most of well, them. At least well, I don't know. this so, one, they actually... The girl that was in the short film was actually in the movie. Yeah, that woman? Yeah, I seen her there. Yeah, yeah she was actually in the I movie. I seen that on a part of something. But, yeah. uh... And, I mean, and that's the whole thing, but indie horror is where it's at. These short films and... All these independent films that want to become bigger films, and yeah, it might they might be kind of shitty, or you might think them as kind of shitty because they're really low budget. The only other issue is, is when they become big budget, they fuck them up. No, oh, yeah, Hollywood fucks them. They get in there and think they know what they're doing. They they think they know what's best, and, and then I they think get, that's a big issue right now. And then someone else that has money probably wants to throw in their idea, and they throw money towards it. To get their idea put in it and fuck it up. And I think that's a big issue right now is is people with the industry think they know what they're doing and they're not they don't love horror. And like they, I say, I'm not the expert, you know, but it it comes down to we need to start getting the people with the love in it, you know like it was back in the day. You know. Because yeah. back in the day they loved it. This is what they loved to do. And they had free reign to, here's your budget. Run with it. Yeah. And hopefully, that's how it'll get to be. Because, I mean, you know, everybody's looking forward to that day. Yeah, I hope, hope something comes up good. Because as of right now, a lot of it's shit. Yeah. Just the same way with the Blair Witch reboot or fucking 3. Th- or part 3. Whatever the fuck it is. I'm actually kind of excited about this, but I hope it don't let me down like Lights Out did. Yeah, whatever. But it looks like it's going to be... probably. I hope it's better than the first one. So, dude discovers a video showing what he believes to be his sister's experience in a demonic woods of the Blair Witch. And a group of his friends go out in a forest and start to be seeming... <laughs> Give me a fucking break, dude. Um. Honestly, come on. Do you think this is going to add to the Blair Witch? The second one blowed, right? Yeah, Book of Shadows. Did it fucking suck? It's pretty bad. Like, like somebody thought, jerked off on yeah. it, and then it's just like, eh. It was better than the first one. How? Because it was an actual movie, and it wasn't... As my dad referred to it when I was a kid, Blair Witch, he said, it was it was a bunch of kids on crack running through their woods from their shadows. But you just said it sucked. It sucked. They they both sucked, yeah. It was pretty pitiful, but it scared a lot of people and made a lot of money. and didn't cost shit to make. Yeah, but the first one we considered like an indie horror film, correct? Like, I mean, and, and yeah, people it was, loved it. it. I don't think they spent no money on it, like making it wise. I guess. Yeah, I mean, they're in the woods and, and people loved it. And then, like, you continue to add on to it. You can't remake 
the greatness of the original usually. I don't believe. I guess it's not going to be a remake. It's just gonna... no. It, well, it's not a remake. It's the third one. Like you said, he he's going into the woods. Going to be sibling. Oh my god! Really, dude? You're not going to get the camera, like you know the shitty camera work. It wasn't all clear HD. You know what I'm saying? Like it would just it, at the time. Was that a, was the perfect time to make that film, and yeah. stop trying to gain the money on it. Leave it alone. I don't know if that was the first one, but I know that was the biggest found footage film I think ever made at that time. So, yeah, and it just it was just you know like just the camera quality of the you know like because now we got HD like Super HD, and you're gonna fucking try to do that in Super HD now. <laughs> Come on. Not going to work. I just don't think it's going to work. I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll watch some form of it, maybe. Yeah. I just, I don't think it, I, I, I bet you it won't make it, I bet you it won't make it to theaters. Oh, it's going to theaters because they got ads. You think so? You know, we went to the drive-in to see uh Oh, yeah, it's, it's out there they, like that. They have the poster out at the drive-in, so it's going to be in theaters. It's It's got money back in it. And that and that's part of the issue too. The more money they got, the worse it fucking comes out to be. Yep. Yeah, I believe uh, that's all we got for you today. You guys have a great day. Peace. Peaches. Bye. Like, subscribe, and share. Yeah. Hey, Zeus, that was really good. I like it.